Norfolk City leaders will soon decide how much of your taxpayer money will fund public education next year. The budget battle begins tonight with a public hearing on the superintendent's proposed budget plan. Turning to your side, Stephanie Harris, look at the bottom line and what it could cost teachers and students. Well, Tom, even if you don't have children, the president of the teachers union says you should care and you should be at that meeting tonight. Why? Because he says schools drive the economy, and we have some major roadblocks right now. When looking to buy a new home, a family usually looks first at the local schools. In Norfolk, they would find 14 that failed to meet full accreditation. Schools bad? Do they stay there? No. They'll go live in Virginia Beach. And that's why Teachers Union President Tom Calhoun says Norfolk City leaders need to wake up and make education their top priority. Not a library, not a new courthouse, not a hotel, not light rail. He says Norfolk students are suffering, and so are its teachers. They've not had a raise in four years. The superintendent's proposed budget would give them a 2% increase, but it also says health care costs will go up 10%. Calhoun says they need more. Anywhere between 4 and 5% and cover the cost of the insurance premiums. He says the only way for Norfolk schools to get back on top is for citizens to demand it. That's because of the way Norfolk City government stacks up. The school board is ultimately responsible for writing a budget and sending it to the city council members who just happen to be their bosses. You see, unlike other cities who elect school board members, Norfolk's council appoints them every two years. So the power ultimately lies with you, the voter, because council works for you. And Calhoun says... You need to let them know it. Now, tonight's public hearing begins at 7 o'clock. It's at Crossroads School on Old Ocean View Road. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.